What's up YouTube? Welcome back to the channel. This is Justin Swanstrom. My name is Big Mother Effin' Country. Can I say that? Yeah. <laughs> so today, I told Justin we just got done after work. We worked all day. I told Justin that uh, I was sitting there thinking that uh, sometimes I wonder where Justin's head is, what he's thinking, or where he's going with some of his stuff. I've watched some of his channel. I see some of y'all reply on there, and some of it, some of it, I see some of it's criticizing. But I can tell you, nobody can criticize Justin or my other son more than I can. They get it from me all the time. It's just how I'm made. It's how I'm built. Um, I don't say a lot of congratulations. Uh, I just show it in different ways. Same way my dad did me and raised me. Got to have thick skin around us. But nevertheless, move forward. I told Justin that. Uh, you know, I, I kind of was laying there in the bed. I got inside there, sat down while I was laying in my recliner, and uh, my mind was just going, the wheels were turning. I was thinking about Justin. I know he does his YouTube and he does a lot of videos, and he's hard at it all the time. So I thought to myself, I said, man, I just want to know what he's thinking, where his mind's at in racing. So I sat down, I did my phone, I just wrote up some questions, and uh, I said to myself, I said, I'm going to put Justin in a hot seat and do a little video with him. So I asked him about doing the video and he, he tried, I just want to let y'all know, he tried to bribe me and tell, for me to tell him the questions. But uh, I told him no, absolutely not, I would not do it. So I, he is fully, 110% on my late father, he's unprepared for these questions. So here's the way the question is going to go. Justin, I'm going to give you the questions. I think I have 15, 16, something like that. Um, and. Uh, I'm gonna give you about 15 seconds to think about them. I want you to try and give me your best guess or your best answer. If you don't like, if you can't think about it right then, I know you're a little nervous because I got bet you're nervous right now. He's nervous, trust me. But uh, just say pass. We'll come back to it. I'll put a little asterisk on my thing. We'll come back to it. I do want to answer all the questions because these are really thought out questions that I really thought about. And you know, I think one, I want to know your answers, and two. I think your fans would want to know your answers. So if you if you, you want a little time to think on, just say pass. Um, you know, about 15, 20 seconds, I think you should be able to answer all your questions. Um, now, he may not get some of these right uh, as far as when he answers them, you know, because some of them have numbers involved. Me, I'm a numbers guy. My, my mind's like a steel trap. I'm going to tell you, my mind runs all day. That's just business to me. I mean, I, I got a head like a calculator. So Justin may be a little off with the numbers, and I'm going to correct them because for sure I want 100% truth in the video. So uh, if he's off, I'm going to correct him a little bit. But he's, he's going to be close, put it that way. So no big deal. We're going to get started. Question number one. How long have you been driving a race car? Ten years. Good answer. So Justin started at the late age of 14. And so, yeah, he's about ten years. Not everybody should do that. I just had to sneak him in. Question number two, what is your most memorable race you attended? Any race ever? The whole race as a series. Attended or ever been? Attended. Well, what's that mean? Driving a car or does Whatever. that mean going to a race? Well, you've drove in every race you've ever been to, so let's just put it that way. Hardly ever do you go watch a race. What's your most memorable, biggest race that you, that you can remember? Probably the grudge race over in Orlando. We ran for 50 grand. Okay, so uh, that, probably that, the most nervous one. That's not what I'm asking. What's your most memorable that you remember? I know these are on the spot. Uh, if you don't like it, you can say pass. We'll come that, back. Or maybe when I won. Um, you only can get one. We'll pass it. Pass, and I'll come back to this. One. All right, we'll come back to that. All right, I got to give him a pass. We're gonna come back to that one. What is your most memorable win? Uh, probably South Georgia when we run uh, ODR. Okay. Um, what is your biggest achievement at 24 years old in anything in life? Doesn't have to be racing. I will come back to that one. Okay, fair enough. What is your proudest moment in racing? Uh, being able to interact with the fans and just talking with everybody, meeting new faces. Good answer. Um, who did you want to race the most as a racer? From one racer to another, 
Who did you want to race the most? Stevie. Stevie who? Jackson. Stevie Fast Jackson. I knew that was going to be your answer. Most of these questions I know the answer to because me and you think a lot alike. What's the biggest pot you ever won in grudge racing? Uh, is that combined counting theirs or just our Yeah, side? just a big, a whole pot. 48,000. Yep, you're right. Which car is your favorite car that you have raced to date? Now, I'm gonna name them. We had that little orange car that you wrecked in Lakeland spun it around. Yeah. We never have a name for that car, but I'm just gonna go through them. You had Hand Me Down, which was a badass little car. We raced the little white turbo car. Yep. Then you had uh, Bodacious. Mm -hmm. Then you had uh, Al I mean Apocalypse. Yep. Then you had Armageddon. Then you had Alcatraz. And Carnage. Then you had Carnage. Then you had Aftermath. One. Now you got Aftermath 2.0. What's your favorite car that you've raced today? Probably Armageddon. Armageddon. It was the 2004 Edge. Pretty cool car. All right. Which racing do you like better? Outlaw Radial, Grudge Racing, or No Prep Racing? Uh, right now, No Prep. It's the fans, I mean, the races are something different. You ain't got worry about all the bullshit going on and just being able to travel around the world and race. All right. What's the biggest challenge to driving from a radial car, which is Alcatraz, from a Pro Mod, which is Alcatraz and Pro Mod trim on big tires and bars, and no prep? Out of those three, what's the biggest challenge? Knowing when to lift. That's probably not my quite good, good answer. I'm saying between the three cars, what's the biggest challenge between them? Um, which one's the most challenging to drive? Oh, which one's the hardest? Yes. Would definitely be no prep. Okay. Especially on the other end of the track, on the 330 on, there's nothing there. Fair enough. How fast have you been? I've been 370. I went uh, against that against uh, Boogie in South Georgia when I gave him one and one. I gotta ignore this call. Mike has been 360s. I'm not worrying about that. Um, what does it feel like going that fast? Uh, smooth. The faster you go, the smoother it is. Whenever it's slowed down, that's when I get to thinking too much. Good answer. Do you feel that you are safe in race cars, in these cars? Yes, all my stuff's up to date. I'm, me and you, we go through the whole car to make sure it is. I don't, I don't go out there in gym shorts and flip flops and race like some of these people, everything's up to date. So you wear all your safety equipment? Yes. Every time? As much as I can get on. In testing, even if we're going making 60 foot passes, all your equipment's on? All my equipment's on, even if I'm in someone else's car. Perfect, which is very rare. How far have you come in 10 years of racing as a driver, working on your cars, chassis tuning, engine tuning, track tuning, converter changing, rear gear changing, transmission changing, etc. In your whole race program, how far do you feel like you have come since you started from day one? Well, I've came a long way. First pass I ever made, I went 580s over at Sunshine. And now I've been low 370s, almost into the 60s. I've raced almost every competitor out there. I've ran on almost every track in the east side of the coast. Uh, I've been in multiple big money grudge races. There's nothing that could ever really get to me. There's not a race out there or a racer that can talk crap to be able to get inside my head. Uh, I've been in almost every circumstance. I've wheelied a car. I've ran into a wall. I've hit multiple walls. I've spun around, uh, I've shook the tires, All right. everything. We got it. Moving on. What is your future expectations in drag racing? 
Uh, as of right now, with this whole deal going on, it's kind of been blurry, as in what we really, because there's no hold, no racing. Well, yeah, we don't have to test. worry about the problem we got going on. I'm just saying your future in life, moving forward. What's your future expectations of drag and drag racing? Uh, being able to travel around and, and meet new fans and, and keep on racing at racetracks. I mean, yes, we're running the no prep series, but you get to meet a lot of new faces. And I mean, I hope the YouTube deal and everything takes off to where it could pay for just going around racing. Anything helps out, I can assure you that. Who is your idol? And life or racing? Yeah. Ra uh, racing, you know, in your racing community, who's your idol? I mean, that's really what you're based around. I mean, I look up to a lot of people. I mean, I don't, I don't really idolize somebody. I mean, I watch a couple different people, what they do and how they race and try to put it back on my racing to see what it's like. I mean, my dad helps me out a lot. I, rock, I watch a lot of Stevie's videos just to see different stuff. And if I can make myself better, then I'll do it. If not, then I don't really idolize anyone. I just... Ain't nothing wrong with that. Just, I told you you weren't going to know any of these right. questions. So that's good, though. I, I like this. It's the best way. This is raw material. This is how it needs to be. Who are all your team members, teammates on your team? Who's all your team members? Uh, well, we got me, Dad, uh, Brian. He's been with us the longest. Eric just came on board last year. He's back on board this year for the No Prep Series. We got Sean, Joey. They come to the track uh, very rarely, but whenever we're close to them, they do come. We got Kim. Tony, Tony helps us at the track whenever he can. He comes out to the races. My mom, she's one of the biggest supporters. Tyler, every once in a while, he gets a hair up his ass and comes out to the track. Uh, but probably around around eight to ten people. I mean, there's then, some other people that come to the track. And then the home front, we got Dennis that helps us on the car. You got Cameron that helps us Cameron, on the car. Cody, Cody that helps us on the car. Mike that helps us on the car. Just but they're the, more of the home front guys. The the actual team that'll always be at every track will be me, Dad, Brian. Me, Dad, and Brian, really. We go to every track together. We don't go to no track without them. And then Eric is coming on board this year to come to all the races for the No Prep Series. And then sometimes we have Cammy and Mike to get, come yep. with us and help us too. But work holds a lot of them back. Anyways, I know some of your fans probably want to know who all your team members are. Uh, would you change anyone on your team? No. I'm, I think my team's pretty solid. We all get along good. We're fine. Okay. Who would you like to race the most in no prep? That's not the end of the question. Or do you just want to run them all? Is there one that you want to race the most or do you want to just run them all? Uh, well, good thing about us, we'll run anybody. Let's make that clear. We'll race anybody. It's not the question. But I don't really have someone I really want to run because I've already ran. I've ran Daddy Dave. I've ran Kai Kelly. I've ran against Chuck. I've ran against some guys. So, I mean, I'll race anybody, but I, I want to be Ryan. So you just want to run them all? Ryan's getting beat this year. <sighs> That's going to be a tough, tough ladder to climb right there. Ryan's already good. Kai, he's already off the table. He's done got beat five times. Mm. Kai, you're still our buddy. <laughs> uh, if I quit, Lizzie got me once, but that's only because I was 250 pounds heavy. If I quit racing today, have I taught you enough to move forward? Uh, working on the car. You want yes. my feelings? Honest question. Honest answer. Working on the car, yes. Uh, tuning wise, no. I wouldn't be able to do it without them. Could I hire someone and probably have somebody come tune it? Sure. Would it be as efficient as us together? No, it wouldn't be. You would learn. You you know enough, no doubt about it. Once you got on the keyboard, you would learn. It's tough tough to do though, with everything else that you do with the car. When the car comes in the pits, you're the head guy in there. You're on the engine. It's tough, but I, you, you you would move forward. What are you trying to quit or something? No, no, I'm not trying to quit. I'm just giving you questions. I mean, you, you know, I I'm confident you can move forward. You, you, you'd probably hit some bumps in the road, but you can move forward. Uh, if you stopped racing today, what would be your best memory of drag racing? Uh, being able to race with family. Good answer. Is there anything you don't like about drag racing? Uh, not really. I mean... I mean, I've always been told it's, even if it's a bad day at the racetrack, it's a better day than at work. Good answer. 
What has been your scariest moment in racing? Being knocked out. I've never hurt a bone. I've never broke nothing in my life. Knocked on wood, but I was knocked out for the first time when I wrecked in Norwalk, Ohio. And that was at that the no prep race, right? No prep. I don't remember. I mean, a lot of people, I only, I only remember seeing the video. I, I hit the first wall and that was it. I don't remember nothing after that. I woke up in a hospital. I don't remember getting out of the car. I mean, he said I'll talk to him, but I don't remember none of that stuff. So that was probably what I'm scared. I don't want to do that again. Or um, catch on fire. That was a bad one, too. We backfired a motor when we ran against, uh, who did we run against? The Cadillac. Who's that? We, with the throttle hung open. Oh, I don't remember. But with fire, it was on the car, and it didn't even get inside the car, but it was hot. I don't ever want to catch on fire. I don't ever want you to catch on fire either. How many times have you crashed? <laughs> I like this one. Uh, I'm going to think of them too, so. All right, I'll go through them. Uh, I had hand me down, I wrecked at Immokalee. Nope, you wrecked before that. Well, too. I know that, I'm saying, but I had hand me down. them in order so that way I can see if you got them all. Oh, well, uh, Lakeland. I wrecked at Lakeland. I did a, the Mustang. We had an orange car. Mustang, had a yep. nitrous motor in. And then we went to Immokalee. We wrecked there. Uh, I borderline almost flipped the car over. We did a wheelie over at Darlington with uh, Armageddon. I ended up wrecking the car at Armageddon, uh, uh, wrecking Armageddon at Piedmont, North Carolina. Uh, yep. I don't think it had nothing to do with me. I think Travis just a little yeah, dog. Just finish on. So those are three there. And then uh, I wrecked Aftermath at the no prep race. So you've had four wrecks? I, I missed, uh, I wrecked Apocalypse too on a final round. I ran into the sand pit down the other end and broke the front end on the winner. I, even, I still won though. Because you didn't pull your shoots? Yeah. So you've wrecked five times. Yeah. A couple of those weren't his fault. Some of them are tuning. Sometimes when I reach in, we do the fist bump and I tell them, hold on, it's coming. It's coming. It's just the way it is. So a couple of times, tuning, I probably wrecked him. But we live and we learn together. We don't do this shit for a living. We dig ditches. Uh, that's the end of my questions. Um, you know, we spent the last two and a half weeks building this shop. Uh, for sure it's for me, but a lot of it's for you, for the car. Um, last question is, how do you like the new shop? It came out awesome. I mean, it's going to be a lot of storage space. Being able to work on the cars, as you can see, the motor room's already clean. We usually work out of the shop over by the house and everybody puts their stuff in there. So it's a lot dirtier. You gotta keep all the parts cleaner, but he's getting a parts washer to put in here. We have that though. It's all in the storage containers. So it'll, it'll be a lot cleaner in here. It's a lot bigger. Everything's closed in now. So we ain't gotta worry about the dirt. It'll just be a, a much nicer thing. He's, we're gonna put a lift in here. So we'll be able to get the car up on the lift and be able to mess with it more. Uh, we used to have to pull it out of the trailer, do all the work to it, and throw it back inside the trailer. So now we can just throw it inside the garage and it'll be fine. Uh, we had two questions that he didn't answer. We're going to give an opportunity to answer them. What was your most memorable race you attended or raced in? Whatever, which one? Uh, I don't know, I've been in so many. Uh, Is there one that just pops out to you that you remember that you just was a great race for you? Probably when we ran uh, the grudge racing over at Orlando, no guts, no glory, the last time we had Alcatraz. Uh, it was black at the time. I and think we, we ran seven or eight grudge races that weekend. Yeah, we ran them in 45 minute increments. We were, we were definitely getting it. Okay, uh, and then the other one is, what is your biggest achievement at 24 years old to date? Uh, I don't know that one. I'm gonna answer that one for you. Yeah. So, obviously, you know, racing, you know, you put a lot into it. I think it's your YouTube channel. I think it's something that you have done completely on your own. I was pretty much against it. But between all the video and you do, the editing, and the time that I see you put into it, I believe it's your YouTube channel. I believe that that is your biggest achievement to date. And I see the effort, the amount of effort that you put into it, and, and I really do. I see the amount of hours that you put into it too. So in my opinion, I think that's your biggest achievement. You've done all that on your own, your equipment, everything. And you know, yeah, I think you reached out to a few of your friends that you know through and kind of helped you in a couple spots, but for the most part, you've done it on your own. I think that's your biggest achievement. That's a, in my opinion, a great accomplishment. All right, that's all I got. I'm Big Country. 
That's Justin Swanstrom. He's in the hot seat. I think he did good. Most of his answers were pretty much what I thought they were, but I'm gonna go ahead and ask you questions. No, I'm saying you have to do that for another video, though. One video piece. You're good.